Let me ask you a little bit of news here. Um, Demi Lovato, she's a, a, you know, a teen sensation at one point. She's in her early 20s now, mid-20s now. And she's a superstar. And she's just recently come out to say, um, and you know, I should call her they. She, she chooses the pronoun they, so I'll say they. Uh, Demi says that she once saw a UFO. Uh, she says it was a floating blue orb. It happened last October on her 28th birthday at Joshua Tree National Park. 50 feet away, maybe less, floating above the ground, 10 to 15 feet, keeping its distance from me. It was beautiful and it was incredible. Um, some people get really wound up in that and they, they can't get enough of it. Other people say, guffaw, hef, ugh, that's silly stuff. I would love to know what a guy like you thinks about a comment like that. Yeah, so what interests me is not what people say they saw because that has certain susceptibilities in the human sensory system because what you see and what you think you see what you did see versus how you react what your emotional state what your psychochemical state might have been all of these influence what we what, let's just call it eyewitness testimony but consider right now today we have three billion smartphones in the world three billion and each one of these can take high resolution audio and video. And so no longer must we rely only on someone's testimony for what was true with all the susceptibilities built in. Uh, we have the capacity to document in ways that are very high resolution accounts of what could be going on right in front of you. I would have been delighted had she recorded this in some way and 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 try to get better data than just simply her eyewitness testimony and in and, and science you need something more than just what somebody says because we knew and psychologists know how susceptible that is right well and also i am a um i'm a i'm always suspicious about everything because i'm a journalist <laughs> we're supposed to ask questions and check people at the gate um and so I'm suspicious because she's got a show coming out. She says this is what inspired her to do the show. Uh, and uh, forgive me because I keep saying she, but she prefers they. In any case, um, one thing I can't deny, Mr. DeGrasse Tyson, is um, the fact that naval pilots saw something really interesting. Uh, I think it was released several months ago. And you can just tell from the track on their mics. And you're asking for, vet, for you know, visual evidence, capture it, and then let's talk about it. Wow, did they ever capture it? And so we can talk about it. So let's play that. And I'm going to ask you about it on the sure. other side. Take a look. Okay, and and I'm putting you up the, to the notch where you you should be, doctor, doctor. Uh, Neil no, please, Neil. Tyson. Neil is fine. <laughs> but you know what? You're way smarter than the rest of us, so you deserve the moniker. And they didn't just have that on tape. They went on 60 Minutes and they chronicled and detailed exactly what they saw. And yet, loads of skeptics come in and say, "Oh, that's so easy to explain." How do you explain that? Oh no, there's. I, I, I'm not claiming that I can explain everything. I'm just simply asserting that if you want me and many of my scientific colleagues to believe that we are being visited by intelligent aliens from another galaxy or another planet, we need better evidence than what is put forth. And we're, I'm reminded of the uh, Carl Sagan um, adage, which was uh, extraordinary claim, re claims require extraordinary evidence. So to my point, the, our cell phones take better data uh, higher resolution data than what we saw in these Navy videos. Sure. I mean, why, why is it that our- What did you make of it? Why, what did you make of that Naval video? Uh, well, I'm saying, what, what, what does it mean for the best evidence put forth that we're being visited by intelligent aliens is monochromatic, fuzzy Navy video obtained in restricted airspace. We have yeah. crowdsourced visitation to the earth because of the three billion self uh, smartphones that we have on earth so i'm just thinking I'm, I'm waiting for better evidence have an alien walk towards you and give me the footage of that oh you just got abducted <laughs> show me that 
You could you could live stream the abduction while it's happening yeah. before they snatch the phone from you. Then we'd have a Can't record of this.